everyone and welcome to your tarot love messages here today we're going to take a look at and explore what messages your person always wanted to tell you but maybe they never had the bravery or the courage to share with you so what is it that they you know always wanted to share with you but always struggled to do so okay this is going to be a general reading so please just be mindful of that if you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself please feel free to reach out and inquire I will list my email address just below the video here where the show more section is. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle, and let's see what messages your special person, your romantic energy has always wanted to share with you. Okay, so what do we have here? So I feel like they feel like the people that are truly meant to be together, okay, the people that are truly um, deserving of one another and the people that are meant for each other are typically the couples that, you know, that go through everything you know they get torn apart but they come back together stronger here than they were before and they feel like true love isn't necessarily defined by breaking up here um, but true love means returning back to one another gravitating back towards one another here and I'm also seeing that this person here they feel like even if the two of you gone separate ways okay or go separate ways here and we're never to see each other or never to come back towards one another again they feel like the both of you would just be fine but they feel like they've seen what the two of you could be like together and they would choose you in a heartbeat they would choose you over anyone else they would choose a lifetime with you rather than with anyone else out there here and to them it's like if you if you have gone through a lot of like separations and breakups, a lot of disagreements, you know, um, you fight but then you get back together and then you fight again but then you know you come back towards one another. I feel like that's when you can usually tell where a couple really becomes centered on one another because they're forever breaking up and they're forever you know gravitating um, and circling back towards one another. And to to me, it feels like this person still searches for you in um, crowds here. And they wonder where you are right now. Maybe even some quite some time has passed for the both of you. But I feel like this person still loves you anyways. This person still loves you. I feel like this is someone who is wanting to really communicate with you. Like, I mean, really talk with you. Not just communicate and feel the silence but I feel like this is someone who really wants to be very transparent and very candid to you this is someone who I feel like is trying to find their way um, home back to you okay and I feel like this person believes that this is fixable okay all of this is fixable whatever has happened in the past and look the past doesn't have to equate to the future it doesn't have to equal the future what's happened in the past they want to leave it in the past if they've hurt you, if they've um, broke your trust here, yeah, they're not the same person as they were back then. And those feelings, that pain, that hurt, it belonged to that point in time here. Yeah. This is someone who wants to, who wants you to give them a second chance here. Yeah. And I feel like this is someone who has made mistakes and they feel like they've been punished for their mistakes. Whether they've been punished by you for their mistakes, by karma... You know, whether they felt like they've got what they deserved here. But I feel like this person 
you know, they're a human being. Everyone makes mistakes. And I feel like this is someone who truly wants a second chance. And that's all they ask of you is that second chance here, that, uh, that opportunity to reconcile here and reconnect here. And having that second chance is going to want to make them work harder here. This person also, also wants you to know that the feelings that they had for you, um, those feelings never really went away. They're coming back to them again and again here. I'm also getting the message that all this person wants is a second chance because they won't need a third one because they're willing to do it right the second time around here. They only want to be with you. They love your flaws, your laugh, your smile, your tease. They love the way you nag. They love the way you, I don't know, the little errors that you make. The little white lies that you tell them. They only want to be with you. I feel like they've got so much to tell you. They've got so much to get off their chest here. They're really, they also want to know if you ever thought about them during the time that the two of you have parted. If and if you still remember the fa their face here, if you wonder, like if you ever wonder what, whether or not the two of you will get back together, or whether or not you, or whether you think you know life will take you down a different pathway here, different route. In fact, there's not a single day that probably goes by where this person doesn't think of you or this person isn't reminded of you. This person wants to go back in time and relive, okay, and cherish all those memories that they have created and shared with you. Because if it's not with you, they don't want to go out and, you know, live or create more memories. Out, like, they don't want to live out those memories or create more memories with anyone else here. If they had another opportunity with you, they swear that they'd love you right this time around here. And they honestly believe that the two of you will come back together. They do. And even though things may not seem all that hopeful right now for you in this situation, but they feel like one day, somehow, some way, the two of you will be united in one way at some point. Okay? They feel like what the two of you have is, it's not just love. Okay? It's divine love. It's, you guys aren't just, yes, you guys are great lovers, but you're also such close friends you have such an emotional bond and such an emotional closeness with one another like they feel as though they can read your thoughts before they even cross your mind they, they feel so connected with you in a way that they've never felt with anyone else they understand that there was an imbalance in your connection okay they understand that they probably didn't match or parallel your actions and the efforts that you were putting in they understand they've made mistakes and they know that they have some behavioral patterns which unhealthy okay and which were maybe toxic um, or poisonous to this connection and they know that they have to work on things but they want to come back and they want to make it right and they want to you know balance the scales in equilibrium here as painful as things have been between the two of you and as back and forth as a t uh, you know back and forth as back and forth as the two of you have sort of been between one another here to me it feels like there's such a strong earning for this person to come back yet again they loved you yesterday they love you still they believe you're you're their soulmate they believe you're the person that they're meant to spend the rest of their life with they believe that they will find a way back to you. They feel like, you know, the universe will do everything in its power to make sure that the two of you end up back with each other here. They may be the type that doesn't even believe in soulmates, so maybe this is why they've never said this to you. But this person honestly believes that you are their soulmate. You're their, you're their other half. You're the person they've been looking for all of their life. It's you, and they've, they've found it in you here. You know, yes, due to some misunderstandings here, um, the two of you have let each other go. And it may be difficult to forgive yourselves or forgive each other here. 
But the best way to forgive a situation and heal a situation isn't by walking away from it. It's by walking towards it. It's by facing it. I feel like they acknowledge their mistakes they have. And I feel like this person is very sorry for making those mistakes here. They accept that they were at fault here. And they accept that they were being irrational here. But I feel like this is someone who wants you who wants you back in their arms here. You know, and it's not just a relationship that the two of you had. It's a friendship. It's a friendship that... And friendships are about accepting each other's differences, shortcomings and each other's bad habits, right? And everyone makes mistakes. Losing you was their mistake here. And I feel like this person is coming back for you. They're coming back for a second chance with you. They're coming back for a reconciliation, a reconnection with you here. They can't afford to lose you again is what I'm seeing. They also have been thinking about you a lot since your last conversation. So whatever what you, whatever was your last conversation with this person, they've been thinking about a lot what was said to them, a lot what you said um, as well. And they're wishing that they could open up their heart for you. And they're so sorry for hurting your feelings. They're so sorry for betraying you, um, for hurting you the way that they've done here. They want you to forgive them. You're their strength and they're losing... You're their strength and they feel like they're losing their PC without you. I'm, yeah, I'm picking up a strong, like they want you to give them a second chance to make things right again. Allow them to amend their mistakes so the two of you can be back together again. Not to fight more, but to learn to love each other more in the process. They're definitely missing your smile here, guys. And they've messed with your feelings. They've messed with your emotions, haven't they? They're trying to work on themselves to become a better version for you here. To work through some of these unhealthy emotional behaviors that they have. See, sometimes it's like a goodbye is a second chance and I feel like the two the universe here is conspiring to bring this person back into your life and you know um, conspiring for this person to cross paths with you again that's what I'm seeing for you guys you know everyone needs a second chance sometimes right It's important for um, it's important for you to know that a second chance can work if the right foundation is in place here. Okay, so I feel like there's a lot of sacrifices or compromises that you know relationships ask of. But you know, this special relationships here are definitely worth. Or this special relationship is definitely worth those sacrifices and worth those compromises here. Alright guys, and these are your messages here. So thank you as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing. For those of you interested in a personal reading, please feel free to connect. Otherwise, bye for now.